So happy to be joined by Coach Smith with Prairie View A&M. Coach, first and foremost, thank you so much for taking some time out of your busy schedule to join us. Coach, with that being said, if you could please start us out with an opening statement, just recapping some of your expectations for your team going into this season. Um, <clears throat> excited about the year, 23-24. Um, yeah, basically a new team, but a uh, great group of young men, a uh, mixture of some uh, high school, junior college kids, and obviously some uh, portal kids. So uh, really excited about what I've seen thus far. They play really hard. They seem to be playing together, connected. Um, so obviously, like the rest of the coaches, you know, expecting a, a really solid year uh, for, for the Panthers. Appreciate those opening comments. Coach, first question goes to Dr. Mike Prince. Good morning, Coach. How are you today, sir? Doing well yourself? Oh, I dare not complain. Look, you talk about it's a new team and um, you're rebuilding, trying to find your way. What has been your greatest challenge to overcome to return to glory as far as winning uh, championships in uh, the tournament? Just been retention. Like you say, new team. You know, every year it's been, uh, the last couple of years, it's been um, obviously some, you know, COVID challenges. You know, still, we're still trying to, you know, re regroup and rebound from that. Uh, but just continue to turn over the roster in the last couple of years has been, been a bit challenging. Uh, but I feel a little bit different about this bunch, uh, even though they're most of them are new. Um, they seem to have a lot in common, and uh, winning is, is paramount and important to them. Uh, and their work ethic has been great. So um, I think we all have the same challenges, just, you know, um, in and out, uh, you know, like I say, turn over in your roster. But uh, we're here. Um, we're working hard and still the game of basketball. Um, you know, the basket to 10 feet, 94 by 52 is court. Um, so I think we have a chance, uh, but I think we all have challenges as uh, in, in every program, but uh, we embrace yeah. it and we move forward. Yes, sir. Coach, if you have to lean on a, a player or two today, who would that be and why? I probably would say Charles Smith, uh, the 6'6", six, six, uh, Grad transfer, um, SMU for two years, uh, Old Dominion two years. Um, I would just say, from the standpoint, of, he has a lot of experience. He's kind of been, you know, at that level. Um, he wants to be good. He understands that uh, he has a lot of talent, and um, he's a multi-dimensional guy. He can shoot the three. He can drive the basketball. He's a very good athlete. Uh, just has a lot of experience, and uh, you know, he he knows that uh, there's a lot. That, that, that we're expecting from him. And I think he's embraced it. And I think this will be the first opportunity for him to kind of have the ball in his hands and be put in a position where he can go out and lead a team. Thank you very much, Coach. My pleasure, Mike. Thank you. Next question goes to Jason Bristol. Hi, Byron. Good to see you. Good morning. Um, cool. I was wondering, um, you just mentioned um, experience and having the ball in his hands, but I think based on what I was looking, I think uh, your leading returning score averaged four points a game last year. So where is all this scoring that you're missing going to come from? Hopefully Charles Smith. <laughs> That's why I mentioned him. No, we don't have a lot uh, returning. Um, but I, I think, you know, we, we, we've always been a defensive team and an uh, effort team and hard playing team. I think um, anyone that you talk to, I, I think you'll get that description of the Prairie View uh, Panthers. Um, but I think it'll be a collective effort. You know, tremendous name I mentioned first because of uh, what we have seen, but we've got four or five other guys who really shoot the basketball um, that have a, uh, a knack for being able to put the ball in the basket. It's just getting these, these guys to play together, uh, to be unselfish on offense, um, to be selfish on defense and rebound and unselfish on offense. So I think we've got a, a well-rounded team. Charles is just a guy that I just, uh, what we've seen, he just scores it. Um, not going to say easily, but he's a, he's a three-level scorer. But I think collectively, I think we've got a better uh, offensive unit than we've had the past couple of years when we have three or four, four or five guys that can really put the ball in the basket. So really excited about that. And, um, you know, I, I, I think it could be a, um, a really solid year from the standpoint of being able to play on both ends of the floor. Take another question from Jason Bristol. I was wondering how much stock you put in the preseason poll, given that you are replacing essentially an entire team. I didn't even see it, you know, to let you know how I pay attention to that type of stuff. <laughs> I um, I was more focused last night. I had a 50 and over men's basketball league game last night that we lost in the playoffs and pretty disappointed. But 
what do the polls say? I, I, I didn't, I didn't even see what it, what, 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 what the predictions are. I think they had you sixth. Okay. Well, at least we're not last. So hey, we'll take it. <laughs> Next question goes to Dr. Mike Prince. All right, Coach. Uh, got a follow-up question for you. I uh, heard you put the emphasis, and I know firsthand that you put a lot of emphasis on defense. With the game being as um, individualized as it has become over time, how hard is that to sell the defense first and scoring second when it comes to recruiting players? It's a challenge. Obviously, you know, with our farm system, you know, being a bit, uh, you know, difficult, not say our farm system being AAU, but as you know, it's a showcase uh, event and everything is about score. Who can score, who can score, who can score. Um, I think it affects you when you um, are guys like myself who, you know, believe in defense first and um, guys like Kelvin Sampson who are strong defensive coaches. It, it is difficult to sell that. It does affect you in recruiting, um, but I do think you have the ones that are willing um, and if you, you know, we talk about um, being really strong defensively, but giving giving those guys the freedom of uh, offense uh, kind of as a reward. So that's kind of how we sell it. Um, this is what we're going to really coach you hard on. And we're going to trust you on the other end, the offensive end. So it is challenging, but the more you preach it, you know, Mike, over and over and over again, I think, you know, if you got the right group, they start to believe and they, start, they trust. You know, I always say the, the believe in comes first, the buy in comes second. You believe in your coaches, you believe in people, then what they're, what they're selling, it's, it's, uh, it's a lot easier for them to accept it. So uh, we've had some success with it. Uh, I think we'll have more success with this, this year's team and that they're really getting after it defensively and practicing hard every day. But we do we keep our word. We allow them to uh, be individuals on offense as long as they're being unselfish. And so far, so good. All right. Thanks again, Coach. And good luck for your season, sir. Thank you, Mike. My pleasure. Yeah. Currently taking questions for Coach Smith with Prairie View a and University. Any final questions for Coach? Coach, we sincerely appreciate your time and good luck this season. Thank you guys for having me. It's a pleasure. Thank you. Thanks, Byron.